Hello and a very good evening, good afternoon and good morning. Welcome along to the show, Monday Makers, the third and final show on the first day of our Christmas in July event. Um, it is our uh, club inspired Christmas event. It has been so hugely popular over the course uh, of the day today and it is set to be a brilliant final show. For those of you who are just tuning in, first of all, you've missed an absolute treat today. We have uh, launched a brand new collection. Thankfully, we brought it back for the show. Uh, so you'll get to get a little look at the Bethlehem collection in just a little while. But what is the event all about? Well, I'll tell you, it is your opportunity if you are a club inspired member to get double points on everything that you are going to be buying over the course of this show and indeed the rest of the week up until the 15th of July plus each and every time you shop with us you will get a free gift now the gift changes each and every day so if you shop with us today already you may well have already picked up well you will have the deck the halls create a card die uh, if you bought earlier and then you decide to buy in this show again you'll get this gift once again so how many, many times you check out your basket today you will get that create a card die yes think about all the christmas gifts you just got spending well nothing this is worth 17 pounds or 20 dollars right there uh, and that will get added into your basket each and every uh check out that you have today i do have a little look at this that's what the die is going to cut you there look look at that oh beautiful um, so that is your freebie today new one tomorrow i will tell you in just a few moments time as well about uh the well not competition uh but free uh prizes free prizes prizes uh, that we are giving away on all of the shows uh, in just a few moments time <laughs> Points do win prizes. Actually, it's not points that's going to win you prizes. It's comments that are going to win you prizes. Well, I'll tell you now, basically, uh, during all of the shows, if you comment, you stand a uh, step closer to winning one of our uh, goodie bags. We will show you the contents of this a little bit later on, but as you can see, uh, it's not Sarah's nice list this year. Oh no, Ben and Joe's with that really great sign uh, which we made earlier. Ben and Joe's nice list, so all you gotta do is send us a little comment through, uh, and at the end of the show, we will pick somebody at random to win this goodie bag. We've got winners in each of the shows right throughout the week, so that's 15 winners across the shows, and every day, two winners on our socials for you as well. I've seen the posts for those today too, so you can get commenting on those. 25 winners, 25 bags at the end of the week. One of those winners will get chosen at random to win a 500 pound, $500 shopping spree. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Um, so that is definitely worth getting in touch about, whether it's a question, a comment, a bit of hashtag bans, whatever it might be, send those comments through. Right, uh, shall we have a quick little um, chat with Michelle and see what we have got coming up over the course of this show? Um, I know we're going to be talking about the uh, Bethlehem collection, but we've got lots more goodies as well, haven't we? We absolutely have. So we have the Grande Edible Dies. Grande. We have the um, easel dies. Oh yes. So I'm going to do I'm going to do the hats. We're going to make it a little bit Christmassy. Uh, it would be rude not to. It's the first day of Christmas, so um, I've got a, a country lane prep for you. And again, I've made that a little bit Christmassy. I've added bells. If you add bells to anything, so that you know that your little Christmas bell, add bells to it, it becomes Christmassy. It's the law. And I've got a couple of uh, the Bethlehem uh, demos for you as well. See, I mean, you've got it all, haven't you? I have. With jingle bells on everything. I've got say I've got bells. Uh, with bells on everything. Bells, bells on yeah. yourselves. With bells on. <laughs> just, just to say, we're going to start with the Grand Edible Dies. Just to say that Bethlehem collection is flying. Um, I think we were heading towards 80% of the um, extra pad collection gone. But when we come round to that, uh, we'll fully update you. But it is proving really, really popular indeed. Um, as are the Grand Edible Dies as well. We showed you these a little bit earlier on on um, Wake Up Call. And actually, uh, this is a brilliant day to jump in and grab these because not only are you going to get double points, not only are you going to get a free gift, um, but you've already got that saving of 19.49 or 22.43. Uh, 46.76 <laughs> is the platinum price or $53.82. Uh, you're going to get within this set your um, elegant trellis. You've also got in this collection the beautiful uh, gingham lace, and you can see how beautifully that is going to cut into the edge of your card for you. Um, again, if you wanted to snip into these and just create panels to place elsewhere, you could do. I, I mentioned this earlier, and I'll say it again because I really love it. The cards where you meant like an easel card, 
can you like cut it maybe like top and bottom and then use it again as the stopper bit yes on the bottom of the card i think that looks really elegant it does mm. it is a, a really nice way to use them and again thinking uh, outside the box yes look at me <laughs> <laughs> never inside the box um i'm, I'm becoming a crafter uh, there's your balloon flowers real things as we discovered earlier on even though i thought we'd made them up then you have got the beautiful uh, rose garden, which, again, if you missed this earlier on, was it on Wake Up Call you did the demo on that? It was, wasn't it? I did, yeah. Wow, it yeah. seems like yesterday. Uh, that is the, the rose garden. Uh, you've got your daisy chains in there too. This is quite nice as well because it, when you look a little bit closer, you can see the daisies cut into those and you can manipulate the little petals out um, to make those pop out of your die cut. And then lastly is your chasing dragonflies. Um, if you want to go for those on a two foot, you can. Uh, two for £23 or two for $27. Just before we get started, we'll do a few quick hellos because... Um, there's loads of you getting in touch. Rachel's with us on the socials. Radical Rachel, and already in this evening, Jerry Johnson says, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. I know, one more time, that's what she said. <laughs> Just one more time. Just one more time. Uh, greetings from Southern Maryland. Uh, Pat's in saying hi from Clover SC. 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 Uh, SC. Sacramento? Or would that be SO? I don't know, I'm just like, naming random. <laughs> you, you, thank you, Jamie. South Carolina, I was just about to say that. Uh, I love your makes, <laughs> Michelle. Uh, Carlene says, hi, Ben. Hi, everyone. I've watched all morning and I got the collection uh, extra as well as the extra pads. That's on the Bethlehem. Beautiful free dye today, says Janet. Uh, Cindy says, Ben, you are the best. I don't know what I've done, but thank you very much indeed. Uh, Sophie says, evening all. I'm loving the new sign on the nice list, Ben. Took me ages to craft that. Uh, <laughs> to be honest with you, actually, you're thinking, oh, it's a bit rubbish, that. I didn't even write it. <laughs> Blame someone else. <laughs> yeah. I think, did Liam do this? No, who did Taylor. it? Taylor. Oh, was it Taylor, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It's a brilliant sign. Uh, <laughs> Uh, absolutely love the Bethlehem collection, says uh, Devaney. And Cindy says, looks like Joe did a better job of stealing and hiding the presents than you did. Uh, you can check out the video as to what that's all about um, on our Facebook page. Right, let us get cracking. Um, we are going to have a look at the Grande Edgeables. Which one? So you did earlier on the Rose Garden. I did. What are you doing now? So I'm going to use the Daisy Lace. I was going to use um, something different. But then I remembered that there's the, the pop-up element with these uh, daisies. So I've changed my mind and I'm going to use this one. Um, I love this one. Um, and I forgot. I just... I don't know. I don't know how, well, I do know how I forget because I've got that much craft stuff. You forgot, you forgot how you forget. <laughs> <laughs> that one sentence explained it all. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, that pop-out element, so that is why I'm going to use this one, because I just love it. Uh, it's just so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got my piece of, so this is like the hint of silver, um, and it's 11, so by um, 7.2, so again, okay. so it's, it's just going to be... Um, wide enough to take uh, this. So again, you've got this edge that doesn't cut out and that edge that does. So always remember, you're gonna put that onto the inside of your card and this is gonna go onto the edge. <laughs> uh, Pat's is saying, I love the colors in the Bethlehem paper pads. I've ordered those yesterday. Um, Sharon says you bought the collection, beautiful. It fell into my basket rather quickly. Um, <laughs> oh. Get that in my basket. Uh, Sarabi's mum says, I really like these edgeable dice. They are beautiful. And Aileen Holmes on YouTube says, Ben, will you be singing again? I, I love to join in. We could start a choir. I've never been asked to sing so much as we have today. Even Michelle's been joining in with the singing today. I know, I, I apologise. No, I've that. enjoyed it. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. We, yeah, we, we, we will, I'm sure, at some point um, sing during the show. Probably when we get onto the Christmassy stuff. Yes, definitely. Right, let me just... Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. 
I'm half crazy. <laughs> Oh, for the love of you. That's what they're singing in the gallery right now. Do you know Nicola's got the most beautiful singing voice? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, is this the first time you've worked with Nicola? Oh, so, so you're, yeah, you, you're used to... Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, Nicola's feeling a bit emotional as well, because uh, Erin's obviously... Um, She's left now, hasn't she? She's I've just, I was very sad because we've got all our little various groups here where we all keep in touch and stuff, and I've just seen her leave one of the groups. A little, her name just popped up and it's just said Erin left. Oh, all no. very sad. All no. very sad. It was very sad. Well, it was very sad until Tari started... Uh... <laughs> 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 Michelle, Jamie just goes, Michelle's over it already. <laughs> it was sad, but I'm over it now. <laughs> I was going to say, until Tari started humming the Imperial um, death match as she walked out the door. Did she wish you not there? No, I wasn't there for that bit. So so Erin's leaving and she's saying goodbye and then Tari starts doing the... Dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 she's leaving. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> And then obviously she got serenaded outside again. Yes, she did get serenaded. <laughs> I, did, I gave her a little song. <laughs> I'm not doing it now. <laughs> I'm not a performing <laughs> seal, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. So I'm just, I need to get these bits out because um, it's not going to, I don't want to run the risk of it not cutting through properly because of those pieces there. I was going to say, yeah, if I wasn't cutting with it again, I'd have just sneakily put it back in the packet. No, I wouldn't. Because then I get told off in the nicest way. <laughs> right, so this is from that beautiful Frosty and Bright collection. Um, I love this. It's the most um, pretty gold. It's not one of those yellow golds or um, it's more like a I think a platinum gold, I don't know. But it's a lot lighter than um, a lot of the golds that you can get. So I love this one. So let me just pop, pop that on. And again, because I'm going on to the glitter card, I'm going to tape onto my mat because I know it's not going to stick to the glitter card. And then when I run it through, I'm going to run the risk of it moving. So that's what um, I always tend to do. You've probably seen me do it um, every time. Uh, with glitter card. So Nicola's just asked me what my favourite colour is and it's any shade of pink. Um, a bit stereotypical I think. Pink with glitter. Pink with glitter. What's my favourite colour? My favourite colour. What did you say? Yours was pink? Yes. Yeah. It depends. I, 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 I do like, um, like a navy blue. Oh, I love a navy blue. And I also like, I, I like, a, like, a, like a dark green, sort of like, um, like a racing green sort of colour. Green, right. Greens and blues, I think, are my faves. Nicola, what's your fave? Green. Jamie? Oh, I did not expect that. Turquoise mm. is, um, is Jamie's. Oh, wow, OK. By the way, just uh, again, if you didn't know about uh, Jamie, very talented artist in his own right. Uh, check out his, uh, his Insta page, Jay's Acrylics. No, it's very good. He's, he's definitely worth a look if you if you like like lots of different kind of styles of crafty bits and particularly like your sort of mixed media bits. You you love what he does. And actually, him and George, George of the Joystick, got together the other day. And George did a little. I don't know why I'm doing that. George, George no, because I don't know. George, George filmed a little um, a little video, little like mini movie about it all. Um, yes, yeah, so it's def definitely worth a watch if you get a chance. Very, very talented at what he, he does. Is. You'll be in here one day. What? Throwing paint around. Oh, actually, no, you won't. You won't. Because <laughs> I can imagine Tracy's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, can you imagine? Like Jamie knew and all his paints, like the wall getting, uh, yeah, splattered. <laughs> Be quite interested to see what you do with the white studio walls, Jamie. We'll just like let you loose in here, see what you come up with. 
So, oh, yes, yeah, so I've gone Christmassy with these. So this is the... Um, frosty and Bright. Frosty and Bright, mm. yeah. So that's the, the paper from it. And again, that's that gorgeous coloured gold from um, the <laughs> A4 pad. So just in case you didn't tune in earlier and you don't know why I'm constantly giggling, it's I'm glad not you're me. explaining this, yes. <laughs> So just, just know that if I just randomly start giggling, it's Nicola singing to me. She's been in a real singing mood today, hasn't she? She has. It's beautiful. <laughs> See, I did it again, look. Just randomly laughed. Yeah. And you guys are thinking, what's she laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> um, Deva needs to say, I absolutely love watching the Crafters Companion shows. They make my day. Uh, Betty, uh, from Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains, says, Ben, I finally received the card that I won on your Facebook Live a few weeks ago. Many thanks. You're welcome. Did you sign it, Nicola? Uh, oh, you might have signed it. We did. It, I, I think I got loads of people to sign some of the cards that I've sent recently. And Lily says, hi, Ben and Michelle, uh, CC team. Uh, by the way, it is um, Jamie and uh, Nicholas doing the Good Ship Craft today. Oh, yay, and a whoop. Um, says, I finally <laughs> broke down moments ago and purchased the Bethlehem set along with extra paper pads and cards. I am weak. No, you're not. You're not. You're living your best life. All three sets bought now. Oh, my, says Lily. Um, and our Rachel is on the socials, um, talking about favourite colours. Hot pink, purple, lime green, or electric blue, apparently. There you go, nice mix of colours right there. Pat says, you make the most beautiful cards, Michelle. Lorraine says, teal yeah. green is my favourite colour. Pat says, I love blues and teals the most. And Sarah says, after not all, I'm looking forward to seeing what Michelle makes on this show, uh, as they have been amazing all day. Ah. Hmm. Thank you. Are you just flipping the little daisies out now? I am. I'm just so I'm going to be gluing this underneath, but um, I don't want to glue those um, petals down to this. So I'm just going to pop them up out of my way for now. So make sure that I don't glue them down. Because um, I want them up. That's the whole point of me using this particular one. There we go. So, uh, dotter tape pen. Yeah. So, I know that I've just poked those out to pop them back down, but um, I can see now where they are yeah. and to avoid them rather than whereas before they was just all part of the pattern and I would have uh, forgotten, just gone straight over them. So, at least now I'm aware of what they are and where they are and I can just glue around them. So it's always worth taking that extra step, especially if you're like me and you get talking and you forget. <laughs> um. <laughs> Easily done. There we go. Then I'm going to lift that up. And then I'm just going to oh, not stick myself to the car. Don't stick yourself to the car. No. Won't be able to post that, would we? <laughs> <laughs> Nicola just said if she stuck herself to the card uh, and it won't demo of the show yes um, Michelle you would have to sit on the shelf for a week so I would imagine it would be quite uncomfortable I would yeah no yeah I'm pretty sure I wouldn't my yeah Who, wouldn't. Um, who's the reigning champ by the way who won on Sunday oh Debbie Fisher oh uh, did she just cheating <laughs> that is brilliant not not she made a great card oh well done she's cheating <laughs> what what, <laughs> what project was it that um I'm, I'm, is, i think i'm not sure if it was the bunting or no it was the card with the fan on oh okay do you remember which one i mean no oh that one up there yeah <laughs> that one up there to my right that one up, yeah oh uh, yeah that well that card there with the fan on Oh, that is quite a nice card, to be fair. It is beautiful. It was absolutely worthy of the win. So, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she definitely cheated. I know, right? What are you on about? <laughs> 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 I 
No, she, they're all absolute worthy winners, I must admit. I'm just uh, so, sour grapes. Oh, it was the craft along, Rachel was saying that one. Yeah. The award winning craft along. Hey, we'll find out as well, won't we, soon, talking about that in the next, what date is it today? Three days' time. Oh, who's gone? The, no the nominations Bruce will be out, won't they? Or the, or the, not nominations, the votes. Hang on, yes, no, you've nominated, and so the final nominees will be uh, announced 14th of July for the Craft Awards. I think you've got a good chance. I don't not know. Oh, I do. No. Be interesting, though, isn't it? It is. I'm just happy that, actually, I think two or three people said they'd voted for me. I was well impressed. I'll take that. Yeah. Listen, I think I know if a few people voted, that's quite nice, isn't it? It is. And my hubby voted, so <laughs> I got a few votes. But to be honest, I didn't even... I didn't even think about me being an option, but so just the fact, do you know what? I just love doing what I'm doing. Exactly right. Same, and same. Yeah. So just popping them back up. There we go. And then, so I have got, where is it? I've got my little bow. I've got my joy. It's just gonna go on there. Uh, <laughs> and I've got my little uh, bell. Why does that, oh there. Oh, Dingley Bells. From yep. the, that's the, from the Twas the Night Before Christmas, isn't it? It is, yeah. So yeah. I've got it, um, so it's on my, on acetate. You saw me lining it all nice up. <laughs> what if you missed the acetate? Yeah, oh. she didn't see me doing the acetate. I think you were too busy singing, um, Nicola. Nicola. Definitely. Yeah, singing. Jamie's got earplugs in. <laughs> He's hiding under the table. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> is the joy from the nativity set, says Mary. No, it is from the Bethlehem. If, that, if that's what you mean, yes, it is from the, the Bethlehem set. I'll take you through all of the, um, the boards on that in just a little while, so don't worry. Um, Lots of you telling me that you've bought this today as well, the Bethlehem collection that is. Uh, and Nancy just saying, I love all the edible dyes that Crafters Companion make. They give the extra touch to the cards I make and I love them. They are a nice finishing touch, these, aren't they, to all sorts of different projects. Yeah, definitely. They definitely are. So, um, um, my tape pen. So, um, all I'm gonna do with this now is, cause this is just beautiful. And that gold behind it just really makes it pop. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape there. I'm going to hang my little bell there. Yeah. And then I'm going to tape back over it. I'm going to put that on there. And that is my um, Grande Edibles Christmas Upt card. Christmas, Christmas Upt. Upt. With a bit of... <laughs> Christmassy card. Staggeration as well. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, that is the Grande Edibles dye collection. Lovely, isn't it? Um, Sharon says Michelle is having fun with her bells today, isn't she? I do. Jingling <laughs> everywhere she goes. She's tied some to her shoe so you can hear her when she's walking up and down the corridor. <laughs> Last year, Liam, did you see the, the shoes that he had on? He had this amazing Christmas out. Liam is just fabulous. And he had this Christmas outfit on and he had like bells on these like elfy shoes and that's all you could hear all day. He says at the end of the day he was driving himself mad. Do you was not that, remember? Was that the, the costume he had when it was like he was like sat on an elf's shoulders? Yes. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember he him had jingling. bells on his shoe. I remember him jingling. Oh. It's reminded me of another song that. What's that song? With bells on her fingers and... Yeah. Rings on her no, toes. No, with rings on her fingers and bells on her toes, she will make music wherever she, she goes. goes. Yeah. Is, I can't remember. Is that because we're old? We know that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is that because we're old? <laughs> Probably is. Most of the stuff that we say and there's like blank expressions is because 
we're old. Uh, the Grande Edible collection <laughs> is here for you. If you want to go for all six of these, um, 46.76 or 53.82 is the deal on them. You can go two for 23 pounds or two for 27 dollars. And do you know what? Um, loads of you just saying how much you love these, and I love Nancy's comment about uh, the fact that they do give the extra touch to um, you know your cards. Uh, they, you know, they can be like a main focal point. Um, as I said, whether you use them top, bottom, on the side, left, right, uh, you know you can really create some lovely, lovely finished cards with these um, the balloon flowers as you know my favorite within this collection the rose garden if you missed that a little bit earlier on go back and watch wake up call from earlier you'll see a lovely demo uh, with that die that uh, Michelle did for you in that show. Then you've got the gorgeous dainty um, oh, daisy chains, or just the daisy chains, I added dainty. But that's the die that you just saw Michelle using a few moments ago. Uh, and then you have got the chasing dragonflies. Uh, again, love this. Amongst the foliage, you'll spot those cute little dragonflies flying around. Um, and you can pick up that full set today for that price on your screen. Don't forget, double points, double points uh, right across the five days and don't forget your free gift. Today's free gift is that creator card die. It'll be a different one tomorrow. But when you factor in this price here, smash down, you've got your uh, discount within Club Inspire and we're giving you double points. And today's free gift worth £17, $20. So many reasons to shop. Keep the comments coming through because the more you comment, the more chance you have of winning because we've got the price to give away at the end of the show for you as well. Uh, and loads of you just saying how much you love that card. Um... Carly just says, I wonder if Michelle preps ahead of time or does she just wing it on the shows? I do prep ahead of time. I think, she I do. think <laughs> there's a bit of, sometimes like you're obviously very prepped, but I know like, and this isn't just you, but like a lot of you guys will kind of like, do a bit of improv during the shows, won't you? Change Which, it a little bit. Yeah, definitely. So I had, in fact, I'll show you. I had the card all prepped with um, the different um, die. But then when Ben got um, that one out, and I remembered that it had those beautiful daisies, um, I just wanted to use that one. So this was the one that I prepped, but this is the one that you've just seen me do. So uh, sometimes, you know, it's just something as simple as you got that die out, and I'm like, oh, I need to use that one instead. So um, I, am, I am prepped and organised, but it's just... I'm like a kid in a candy shop, and yeah. literally am. So you get something new, I'm like, no, I need to use that one. L living your best life over there. Absolutely. Um, talking about living your best life, this Bethlehem collection has been so popular. Now, we've got the details up on the screen for you here of the extra card collection. There is like a standard collection as well, where you get one set of your 12 by 12 papers and one set of your um, luxury card stock. However, however, the main um, bulk of you are going for this collection here. I think, are we at 80%? We were certainly heading that way uh, towards the end of the last show. We'll double check, but this is the collection that everybody has gone for. Uh, it's a 38 pound, $48 saving, launching today, that comes off it. If you're platinum, or indeed if you've just signed up to Club Inspire today and this is your first purchase, this is your price here. So it's 91 pounds or $115 you're getting double points today as well. So like I said, if you're shopping in the US, you're pretty much, if you're buying this today, moving up another level within Club Inspire. If you're a bronze or silver member, or silver to gold, you're pretty much nearly there, because that's 230 points you're gonna pick up just from buying this today. Also worth bearing in mind before I begin showing you through this, if you haven't yet used your discount code that you received over the weekend, there's a code which will be in your email box if you're a Club Inspire member with a 15% saving. We've extended the run of that up until the end of the, uh, end of the day today. So if you haven't yet used it, please, please use it today. We are now over 80% of the stock gone. This is going to go limited very, very soon. Uh, we're over 80 percent and what what the reason why this is flying again as always with these is it's the paper pads because what's happening today you see and i will show you this in a second is loads of people have already bought this over the weekend all right and they're coming back today and they're going well hang on a minute I need more consumables. I need more consumables. I'm getting double points today. I'm getting a free gift if I buy these two. I'm stocking up. And I know for a fact there are viewers out there who have bought two, four, six, eight, ten, sixteen extra of these, naming no names, 
uh, today alone. So that's why the stock is disappearing. Um, take advantage, if you haven't yet got this collection, of grabbing it all today. If you've already got it, grab more of the consumables. I'll show you everything that you're gonna get here. Remember, the extra card collection, you'll get two lots of the 12 by 12 paper pad. And in effect, the deal on this really means that you get the second 12 by 12 paper pad at half price. And it is the most beautiful paper pad, uh, which I think you are gonna absolutely fall in love with. When I'm telling you that we've got people buying, you know, eight, 10, 16 of these, you can understand the reason why, because this is such a gorgeous paper pad, loving the colors, loving the fact that you've got that gorgeous foiling in there as well. And, and you know the other brilliant thing about this, I know a lot of you are obviously buying this for the, the sort of religious connotations. You wanna be able to tell uh, the Christmas story in your crafting, but a lot of you are also buying this paper pad because you're going, do you know what? Whilst there are kind of pages in here which are specific to the nativity, to the Christmas story, there's lots of papers in here that you can use, and loads of you were chatting about this earlier on, you can use in uh, crafting, not just with the other Christmas sets that we've launched this year, but right across the board as well, as I'm showing you right here. You know what, and a lot of people talking about the, um, the star paper here to be used for things like celebrations or even birthdays. You have, of course, got these beautiful papers here. Again, I'm seeing a lot of snippability in this one particularly, uh, where you can use that to create the nativity scenes but front and back you've got the most gorgeous designs look at that one the foiling on there is so so beautiful again the reverse of these are going to work beautifully with the front you've got look at that foiling there like i have never seen before got like a midnight um blue sort of foiling going on there you've got um more beautiful stars in here too but it is the most stunning paper pad now, 24 double-sided sheets, you're getting that twice over. You're also going to receive your luxury cardstock. Six sheets of each, you're getting six sheets of your gorgeous uh, midnight blue pearlescent. Uh, Cindy's ordered 10. 12 by 12 uh, paper pads, that's the way to go because these are gonna disappear, potentially before the end of the show. You've got uh, six sheets of that gorgeous gold. It is like the, like the gold frankincense and myrrh once again here, isn't it? You've got that <laughs> gorgeous uh, turquoise uh, going and you've also got that champagne glitter card included in there too. You're getting that twice over within this collection, stunning. Make sure you stock up on the consumables. But let's show you the hardware. So the hardware, the joy. So this is the one a few of you were asking a few moments ago. <laughs> Jamie's singing now. He's like, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> uh, you've got the uh, joy die in there. And again, that comes with a lovely collection of stamps as well. So comfort and joy, joy to the world, the joy of Christmas is family and may the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy. You are correct. Then in this set, what about this? The bearing gifts, the stunning scene of the three wise men, uh, Balthazar, Caspar, and Melchior. Yes, that is what they're called. <laughs> now Jamie's singing on his own. <laughs> we three kings of Orient are bearing Pretty gifts. Sure. We travel afar. I'm pretty sure his version. He sang it. one in the taxi, one in the car. We're not seeing the next bit. Uh, you then. <laughs> You've then got um, this beautiful effect on this die that you can uh, use to create that stained glass effect. So if you want to colour this in, if you want a paper piece back, stunning. Next up, you've got your little town of Bethlehem, which you can use to create a 3D effect. So you have got all of those dies, which you can layer up beautifully to create the most stunning uh, Bethlehem scene. And you've also got all of your little... Um, uh, nativity characters in there as well. So Mary and uh, Joseph and the baby Jesus. You've got the uh, cow. You've got the wee donkey. You've got the little donkey on the dusty road. You've got a palm tree and a camel, <laughs> but you haven't got a toad. So that's that. You've then got the celestial angel. Now, this for me is the item that I think you're going to love the most in this collection is a five by seven die, um, creator card die really in all, in all intents and purposes. It is the most stunning, <laughs> stunning um, die. Uh, whether you want to use this on your, um, on your boxes, whether you want to use it as we saw earlier on for your Christmas bags, or indeed if you're just going to make the most stunning card from that set, then wow, oh wow, oh wow. 
uh, that you're going to love. Also in this set, you've got your Blessed Bauble, um, which again shows you uh, that beautiful nativity scene. So you've got your outer die, and then you've got that nativity scene in there too. And here's the thing, uh, a lot of you chatting that you wanted to kind of um, use that to create a, you know, an actual ornament that you're going to pop on your tree, cut it multiple times, you can. You've got Silent Night, shh. You know what it's like in my ear again now? It's, a, it's like the most annoying carol singers who just won't go away. No, I'm not giving you any money. Uh, you've then got your, your wondrous, I'm not even giving you 50p, Jamie. Uh, you've got wondrous sentiments, away in a manger, joy to the world, Christmas blessings, uh, let heaven and nature sing, peace on earth, and more. Then you've got your joyous sentiments. This one again uh, is things like all is calm, all is bright, season's greetings, oh holy night, and unto us a child is born. But that's not all because you're then gonna get in here the most beautiful 3D embossing folder. Um, I'm just asking this, I don't know the answer, and it's fine if you say no. Have you got a demo lined up with this one at all? No. Okay. <laughs> but I can do one. I just really, I just love the star in there. Yeah, it's I beautiful. It's so gorgeous because you've got the little star there and then the, the rays of light just like shooting off. Yeah. I think the way that that's been designed is absolutely glorious. It's a stunning, stunning embossing folder. And talking of stunning embossing folders, cut and emboss. This follow the star again shows um, all of the three kings there. You've got the palm tree swaying by the manger. And then you've got um, the beautiful star, which of course cuts out because that is your cut and emboss folder. Um, so again, run that through. You've got the most beautiful uh, card project right there it's a stunning collection we're heading towards 85 percent of the stock gone please do not miss out on this uh, mary Kay says oh boy crafters companion is such an enabler extending the discount thank you you are welcome uh, uh, Kathy Crafter says, Ben, I'm doing my homework uh, but could only take Mrs. Miller for 20 seconds it was so funny I'm glad you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, Card Maker for Life says, I'm, I was singing Christmas music and my nine-year-old cousin told me to please shut up, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Wish these lot would shut up in my ear. Uh, there is no B-side and they are both A-sides, says Beverly. That's why we need to buy more paper pads. You do, and you, honestly, um, you need to buy them quickly because they are going to go. Uh, Cindy says, I've ordered 10. Uh, Elise says, unbelievably beautiful paper pad. I can't believe they keep getting better and better with each new release. Congratulations to the design team. Chapeau to those guys. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Lorraine says, it's my favorite Christmas set so far. Uh, and Beverly says, um, a great um, scene, the nativity scene. Great for kids cards as well. Um, I mean, this has been so busy today. Get yours whilst you can, because we're going to be talking um, bundle sellout soon, before you know it. Double points. Um, it's the paper pads. That's what you need to really go for. If you're thinking, if you have an inkling that you might need more, get them now, because uh, they could go. We are 85% um, of the stock of the extra card bundle gone. I better shut it, and uh, we better get on with the demo. Um, so we know you're not going to be using the embossing folder. No. What are you going to be using this set? So um, I'm going to be using the little town of Bethlehem again. So this is that scene builder die. Um, but we're going, to, we're, just, we're going to use it in a little bit of a different way. So I'm not going to make a big scene with it or anything like that. But we are going to <laughs> die cut all these elements out. So I do want all my, um, my scene with regards to the... Uh, the star and Mary and Joseph and the little um, tent. Little tent. Not tent. The manger. Uh, <laughs> manger with the, the, the shed. The shed. Not the stable. 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 The shed. I went stable. to Catholic school and I've just called that a tent. The priests and nuns that taught me will be turning in there. Um, They'll be, they'll be turning, yes, I know what well, you're Well, I don't say. think any of them have passed. I think they're all still here. So they'll be turning in their, their sofas. Being, they'll um, be shuffling in their sofas. <laughs> disappointed. I can't believe Michelle. I can't believe Michelle can't remember what it's called. <laughs> well, to be fair, it, I struggle with every word. Oh, yeah. That, you know, comes into my head. You Which and is, me both. Yeah. Um, Leanne must be so very <laughs> proud of her design team, says Beverly. They are absolutely brilliant. I, honestly, our team here, 
I mean, I've worked in a few places when it comes to craft, but our team, in my opinion, are top notch, top of the pops, unbelievable with what they managed to create. You said this yes. earlier, like, it must be so difficult year round to create new collections, but particularly Christmas. Yeah, yeah. You know, to come up with a new sort of theme and a new idea every year, because there's only so much, isn't there, about Christmas? You, well, you would think so. Yeah. But, um, I think our team, our design team, manages to knock it out of the park each and every time. They uh, never come up with something that's pants. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> yeah. You never, you never look at a new collection and go, that's that pants. is pants. No. We're always wowed by what they, <laughs> they come up with. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's just messaged saying, away in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely away in a stable. A manger. I just, I just needed to um, tap it a little bit more and it would have come to me. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to pop these up here before I lose them because some of those are quite small. That is good housekeeping, that is. I do, yeah. Mm. I occasionally try. Yeah. I'm Especially a little bit little excited needs. though, so this is taking way too much time for me. <laughs> I, I will in a minute. I'll just give up and just push, push them all to the side and say I'll do that later. Sharon's just said, in addition to the stunning paper pad in this collection, for me, the scene builder Michelle is using right now for this demo is one of my favourite parts of the collection. Oh, and Miriam says the little animals could be used with the reveal wheel. Absolutely. Oh, yes. They could go on the reveal Absolutely, wheel. Absolutely, yeah. Which animal are you? <laughs> Which spin, 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 are spin, you? spin, spin, spin. Camel. Right, so what we're going to do with these is we're going to decorate, we're just going to put the scene on a lovely little gift box. Yep. So I'm going to bring in the lid of my gift box for now. So this is, this is my uh, little suitcase that we're going to make. You're, um, you're very big on the um, kind of uh, 3D things today, aren't yes. you? Yes. Bags and yeah. boxes and all sorts. I do, I, um, but I do love anything 3D construction. I really do. So this is, the, the base card that I've got is 10 by 8. So what I want, I want my box size to be um, 6. So 6 that way by 4 that way. Uh, and I'm going to double my edges up because to make that little suitcase that I make, um, it's better to have that double edge, so that fold there, rather than just the edge. Uh, it makes it stronger, but because you're sitting one on the other, um, it just fits better. So I've already got those three sides cut out and I'm just going to cut this last one out just to show you. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're just going to cut those three pieces away. And then all you're going to do is, I um, always mitre, ooh, mitre, mitre my mitre. corners. Oh, um, yeah. But again, you don't have to. Is, it, is that the official word, mitre? Mitering? Yeah, uh, I am. That's what you do in like soft craft, isn't it? When you mitre your... Corners. Corners. Yeah. I suppose. Well, we'll go with it. Yeah, oh, yeah, whatever. We'll go with it. So that is what it's going to look like when it's done. So let me just get rid of these. And then, so I've already got mine already taped up, except for this one piece here. So we're going to pop a bit of tape on that. Lots of people commenting about this particular set, saying they'd love to try it out with, um, with the kids and the grandkids. I think it's one of those, again, isn't it? Cut all the bits and pieces out and let the kids create their own little scenes and create their own little cards with them. It's a lovely idea, that. Definitely, it's, per it's perfect for that. Because, um, I mean, these are all going to go through um, your mini. So they're going to go all the way down to your smallest... Uh, you mean they're going to go through your manual? <laughs> yes. That's exactly what I meant. Exactly what I meant. So let's, um, let's pop this box together. So these two sides are not going to have any of these um, slotting into them. So I'm just going to going to tape them straight down. 
Um, I meant to say, Rachel, I think it was Rachel or Rebecca me uh, messaged about 15 minutes ago, so I just picked it up. What's this about a prize? Well, the fact that you've messaged saying, what's this about a prize? You're a step closer to winning the prize. Because <laughs> uh, um, basically, all you have to do is comment on any of the shows, and each show we're giving away a goodie bag. It'll get you onto Ben and Joe's nice list. No Sarah's nice list this year. It's all about uh, me and Joe. We've taken over. We're running the joint. Um, so if you want to get on the, uh, the list, send us a comment, and we'll be picking a winner at random at the end of the show. Um, if you don't win on the shows today, there are two more chances for you to win on our socials. If if you go over and have a look, uh, you'll see those chances. Enter, and we'll announce tomorrow the two winners from those competitions. Uh, and then again, there'll be five more chances to win tomorrow. Five chances each day across uh, Crafters TV and our socials. 25 winners by the end of the week, each winning one of our uh, goodie bags. I'll show you what's in here in just a few, bit, uh, few minutes. And um, at the end of the week, one of those 25 will be drawn at random to win a £500 or dollar shopping spree at Crafters Companion. How amazing is that? How so amazing exciting. is that? Uh, it was Rebecca that was asking. Um, so th there is your answer, Rebecca. Uh, you're in the draw. Congratulations. Fingers crossed. Right, so I've just brought in my fire brown. And all I've done is I've just, just roughly, I've just sort of aged that craft card. Just going around those edges. I don't need to do those. I need to do those corners because I've got something different for those. So then what I've done is I've just got my um, my circle die. Well, just any circle die, but I've used our stitched edge circles. Oh, yeah. So all you're going to do is you're going to cut out a piece that you sort of roughly think is going to fit lovely. So this one that I'm using is the one and a half inch um, in diameter. So you're just going to fold it in half. I'm going to give it a nice burnish. Then you're going to fold it in half the opposite way. So you've got um, those scar lines scarring your circle into those four quarters. And then all you're going to do is you're going to snip one of those quarters away. Oh, yeah. Like that. You're going to... So you've got, you've got Pac-Man. You have got Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the music for that. That wasn't the that wasn't the noise. That was a duck. <laughs> and then you're just gonna get your corner. You're just gonna pop it on there, and it's going to wrap round, just like that. I'm just gonna oh, fold it for a okay. sec. Okay. Ah, oh, so that is very so clever. That's your your little suitcase corner. So that's I've so already clever. cut my other pack men out. <laughs> J Jamie, great minds think alike. I was just thinking uh, Paddington Bear, and you just said exactly the same thing. Paddington Bear suitcase. It um, is. What will it be is. in it? Oh, jam sandwich. Oh, marmalade, marmalade sandwiches. sandwiches. Yeah. I was... He was all about the marmalade, wasn't he? Well, I was going to say marmalade sandwiches, but I prefer jam sandwiches, but it, mm. it just came out as jam sandwiches. Marmalade's not a, it's not a big winner for me, marmalade. It's too bitter, isn't it? Yeah, you can get like a sweet marmalade, but um, but that's just adding sugar, which sort of defeats mm. the object of, of me at the minute, so I don't eat it. Um, marmalade lovers or haters on the socials, go. What are we all haters? Hate, hate marmalade? Do you like uh, it? I'm a hater. Yeah. Stickler's a hater. You're yeah, a hater. Yeah, not, not a Jamie? fan, though. You can eat it. Not necessarily the first thing you would put on your toast. Yeah, you wouldn't choose it. Oh. You go for Marmite, do you? Oh, no. 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 Marmite, love it or no, hate it? Um, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Nicola? No. <laughs> oh, no. So that is um, my bottom piece or my top piece. And then I've brought my other one in. And I've cut these exactly the same. I haven't done one on the um, base side of my scarring board and the, the lid side. They're exactly the same. So I've, they're both six by four. Uh -huh. um, and they were both 10 inches by eight in size. And then I scarred at one and two inches, all, all four sides. So they're going to sit together beautifully like that. They're going to sit on top of each other. Uh, and the reason that I've got that double edge there is it just adds that sturdiness. So all we're going to do then is we're going to bring in some card. So I've got two pieces. 
So they're just two inches by six inches. So I, I don't know if you can see that, but that's that's a little wiggly. It's a little wobbly because it's still not quite strong enough. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so these are six by two, folded in half, and we're going to pop these in the middle. And we're going to strengthen those sides up but it also helps me make my box. So that's not fitting quite right, so I'm just gonna trim a tiny little bit off. Was it the seal brown that you used on the box? Or fryer? Um, I used I'm sure you said fryer brown. Fryer, was it? That's Sarah wanted to know. Fryer brown, uh, Sarah. So bear with me, because I've, um, I've cut my pieces wrong. So I actually need, my pieces need to be four inches. Uh, you know. The chat's going on about marmalade. Uh, Kirstie says, I don't like marmalade or jam, but I do love marmite. Got another marmite lover, Jamie. Uh, Tansy Pansy says, I prefer marmite. Definitely not marmalade. <laughs> um, <laughs> the marmite crew. Uh, Sylvia K loves Marmite. Uh, Rebecca, Marmite is a definite no. Uh, Lorraine says, very clever suitcase corners. Why haven't I ever thought of that before? Very effective, says Lorraine. I occasionally have. <laughs> what do you mean occasionally? Always yeah, have good idea, great thank ideas. You. Um, and Stephanie says, Ben, does your wife shake her head a lot at your shenanigans? Lol, love you, Ben. I, she just ignores me now, really, <laughs> to be honest with you. She just, uh, I think she just switches off. You know, you, a lot of you say, like, gentlemen have selective hearing. I think, like, Laura's very good at just sort of switching me off. She used to be a childminder before we moved up here. So she was very good at uh, sort of, like, um, turning off the noise of the kids. The no yes, Jamie, she's very good at getting rid of the annoying sounds. So that's what she does <laughs> with me. <laughs> oh, dear. It's sort of making a little bit more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get ignored at home and then just abused when I come into work. <laughs> right, so my piece is actually... I'll, um, a six inches wide by four inches because then what we're going to do is just going to tape this together so it's two inches high yeah um, and then I'm going to bring it in I'm going to put it in my box because let so again it just needs to, I always cut it to the six inches first and then I would rather trim a little bit than um, have it cut too small so there you go so that's going to make my side uh, okay and you're going to put those all the way around so let me just quickly again i'll take this up and we'll pop it in um cindy just said freshly made orange marmalade is quite good best if you pick the oranges off your own trees just before making you yeah, don't go and pick them off anyone else's <laughs> you imagine <laughs> i think if you probably yeah if you had like homemade marmalade I reckon it, it'd probably be tastier than your shop-bought stuff. Um, and if, a lot of our US viewers are asking about Marmite as well. What is it? It's like um, it's like yeast extract, isn't it? That, that's what that, that's what Marmite is. Um, Kirsty D says uh, Marmite is very dark, sticky yeast extract, very salty, similar to Vegemite, but with less yeast taste. Wow. We don't have Vegemite here, do we, in this country, I don't think? Or do we have Vegemite? Oh, it's Australian. Oh, yeah. Mm. I, don't, I always imagine that they taste the same, so, but I don't know. They're sort of sound Is, is Marmite what's on Twiglets? Yeah. Hmm. You see, I don't mind Twiglets. That's funny, though, isn't it? I don't, I don't mind Twiglets, but I, I wouldn't have Marmite. No. Right, so what I'm going to do to get this piece in is, again, you see I've cut it to make it fit. This is coming out a bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue down that side there, and it's going to have to be my wet glue, and you're just going to bring it in, and you're going to, you're going to hold it till it dries. So I'm going to glue the bottom in as well. And then, and then you've also got to think that once all your wet glue and that has dried as well, it adds that extra... Um, strength to it so I'm going to pop that down and I'm going to push it to the side 
and then I'm going to hold that to there. Um, it takes, a, it takes a, you know, a couple of minutes for it to grab, especially on craft card. It almost feels sometimes like a craft card's got a coating. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't. Um, it's just harder for the, the glue to sink into a craft card, I find, than a normal card. But again, it's the same on both sides. So Nicola just asked if it's the same. I find whichever side I use of craft card, it just takes that little bit longer to, to grab. But once that's grabbed there, it's going to stay. It's going to be nice and sturdy. So I'm just going to let that go for now. We'll pop the other side in as well. So this is a very easy box to make once you've seen, I think, someone do it. So like with those corners, um, someone just said, why didn't I think of that? So it's all very simple um, bits and bobs that you're putting together. There's nothing hard measurement-wise. All comes together lovely. Just taking um, your time with it. So again, let me trim that side down. And no, it still feels a little bit. So just a tiny little slither at a time that I'm going to take off. That feels perfect. So again, I'm going to put just that glue there. I'm going to dab it in. I'm going to dab that onto the bottom. And we're just going to pop it in. And again, just going to hold that up to it just for it to grab. Because once it's grabbed, it's absolutely fine. But if you've noticed, mm -hmm. um, I haven't glued the top together. Uh, so okay. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Yeah. So when I folded this over, I've put tape across that bit. But that bit's still got that sort of bowing out bit. Do you know what I mean? So it gives you more area. To, to, so when you glue it on the side, it gives you more area to push that against it and hold it. Whereas if it was just one, one slice of card, one side you've got less area, two sides you've got more, but then by not gluing them two top bits together, you've just got more area for that to stick up against. So I would do the back piece as well, but I don't think we're going to have time uh, to move on to that. So what I'm going to show you, what I'm going to do next. Okay. So I have got just my... Um, scene. Oh, okay. So we're just going to pop this on and I'm going to pop it on just as it is. Uh, almost give it like that faux embossing effect. Yeah. So where is my dotted tape pen? So let's pop that on there. So I'm going to have that right in the middle. I'm going to put my star above. Um, Nanny to the girls has just said, I love the idea of stronger sides on the box. Yeah, because you do find sometimes that they do get a little bit yeah. wibbly wobbly, don't you? They do. Good little Definitely. tip. Um, Terry says, I've Googled Marmite. It sounds like I would love it. <laughs> I favour savoury, salty dishes. And <laughs> Maxine Marmite Loving Cave on Facebook. I wonder what, I wonder what Maxine's going to say. Maxine Marmite Loving Cave. Marmite is the worst thing ever. No, Marmite is the best thing ever. Well, that's the name that's come through. Marmite, Ma Marmite, sorry. Maxine Marmite <laughs> Loving Cave <laughs> says, Marmite is the best thing ever. Vegemite is, and then it's the, come on, Grandad. It's the little emoji with the, well, with the spew coming out. Oh, yeah. lovely. Apparently, well, I think Vegemite and Marmite, very, very different things. So I've got my little elements um, yeah. on there, almost like that foam embossing. And again, I'm just going to take the tiniest little bit of ink and I'm just gently going to rub over those. And it just, just makes them pop that little bit. That's a really cute idea. So on my original Paddington box, I had some... Um, stamp dies that I yeah. had in my stash, just some random bits that I put on there. And it, it did, it looks like um, he'd been posted. And it's like what? 
He'd been posted. Oh, right. You know, with his, his suitcase. You know, when you, or when you go on an aeroplane and you've got all those. Oh, the little stamps yes. on that. Yeah. yeah. Please look after this bear. Yes, that's it. Mm. Right, so this is my box. So if I just pop that over, you see that fits on beautifully. Yeah. But we need to make it into that um, suitcase. Mm -hmm. So what I've got is, this is from one of our textured cardstock pads, and it's 12 inches, uh, 12 inches long by one inch wide and it's just long enough to go all the way around my box just leaving a little bit of a a gap there so that's what we're going to do so we're going to pop that all the way around you can see straight away it's looking um like that box the suitcase i can't think of the word then so again i'm going to use my red liner tape and i'm just going to pop it down the middle but if you're doing this at home i would normally do it with um just some glue, uh, wet glue, sorry. I normally use this. Yes. Um, but for speed, I'm just going to use this. Yeah, you know well, as much as um, people love to watch us and then we'll sort of say how great a product is and you know, people will buy it or we'll show a demonstration and people will go, oh, I want to you know, copy that when I get home. We are now influencing what people are eating. Uh, Kirst Kirsty Deed says, I've given in and I've just made myself some Marmite on toast. Oh. No. Uh, yeah, we, I tell you what, we need, to get, yeah, we need to get some like commission off the back of all of this, don't we? Although we have kind of given the love and the hate in the equal proportion. Um, and Deborah just says, I've loved seeing all of Michelle's creative makes today. It's been awesome today. It's been an awesome day. I can't believe we've got less than an hour to go um, on the day on the show. Um, just whilst Michelle's sticking, don't forget double points on the first day, indeed on all the days of our uh, Club Inspire Christmas events. Uh, free gifts as well. If you're checking this one out and checking anything out, uh, you can get the free gift. There's no minimum purchase on the free gift. So as I said earlier on, even if you buy just, I don't know, a bottle of glue or an ink pad or... Uh, you know, pokey tool, spend a few quid, a few bucks, you will get that free gift today worth £17, uh, worth $20. New free gift tomorrow. Uh, don't forget, keep the comments coming through uh, because the more comment, uh, more times you comment, the more chances you have of winning um, the goodie bag. Um, basically, goodie bags each and every day in all of the shows. I'll show you the contents of this goodie bag um, very soon, maybe just quickly before we go to the break so you know the kind of thing that you can win. All the goodie bags will have the same content, the style of them might just differ. Um, like for example, the one in here I've got has got tricolor pens, you might get some metallic pens for example, but they're really worth winning, honestly. The value of the bags is amazing. Um, and lots of reasons to stay with us this week, lots of reasons to join up in Club Inspire as well. If you're not yet a member, join for free today on the website. Just tap, hit the Club Inspire button, and uh, you can join up for free, get 20% off your first order. Oh, there's so many reasons to shop with us today. So many reasons. I really love this, but it's like the old fashioned um, like little suitcase, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Take away your little summer holidays. Yes. So I'm just gonna use that too. Again, if you were using your wet glue, that comes together a lot better. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open it up and you are just gonna fold it out and when you fold it there like that it's going to stick down nice and beautifully um, just remember and you were going to have that extra piece in the back there and then once you've got it sorted look look how beautifully it just opens and closes and then all you're going to do is I've got two handles and we're gonna you're just gonna fold those in half uh -huh. so I just did a winch a winch, a winch they're an inch wide and mine are 10 um inches long so you probably do this on your scoreboard but i'm conscious of time michelle says deb you never cease to amaze me with your makes i love this bethlehem collection Anne says how adorable is this box i absolutely love this lots of love for the box coming through could oh, be the winner um in just a little while remember demo of the show demo of the day oh yes if it doesn't win <laughs> this one could be ben doll's new suitcase it could he's a little bit out of proportion uh it's a big suitcase for ben ben doll by the way is um a little doll which was given to me at another place where i worked and he's managed to find his way over here um and um well he was in my bag today and nicola borrowed him 
So <laughs> he's, uh, they've had a lot of fun together today. I'll show you him in a bit. So you're going to get to about an inch, an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half away from the end. And you're just going to fold it over and you're going to sort of get like that triangle shape. Oh, yeah. Um, and again, on that side, you're just going to give it a good, a good fold. And because I've glued it um, in half, you're just going to give it a nice... <laughs> a nice bendicture. And you're going to pop them on there. And mine is a little wonky. Again, I'm rushing this because I'm conscious that I've only, I'm only on my second demo. It's um, been worthwhile, though. But there you go. It's so let me just grab. Will you be of... putting the measurements and instructions on your Facebook page? Because Lynn's just asking. Absolutely. Um, I'm pretty sure that I might have some of these instructions somewhere from the last time I did it. But um, if I haven't, I will um, definitely do it because so many of you have asked for me to show this. Yeah. Um, which is why I thought. I'd do it with this new collection because I thought that builder scene die just looks lovely. It gives it that very much again that aged um, look, which is what I loved. So there we go. Pop that on there. There's calls for it already to be demo of the day as well. Pop that one on. Go and demo the show first. So yeah, of course. So you can absolutely again go to town with regards to your um build a scene but i just have having those on there and then yeah. just putting that tiny little bit of ink on top almost like i said gives it that um faux embossed effect so let me just again let me see if i can oh my scoreboard's right next to me i don't know why i didn't use it before so i'm just going to score halfway down what are you putting in your suitcase um chocolates <laughs> You know me so well. <laughs> you could put little, um, yes, little alcohol miniatures in there from all around the world. No, it's me. It would probably be um, these, uh, you know, uh, you could, you've just seen how quick, actually, it, it does take to do these. These are perfect for kids' parties. Oh, yeah. They love getting um, a little treat bag at the end of the yes. party. So to have it in a little suitcase like this that they take home um, and open and close. Look at that. I've put my um, handle on the bottom. So we'll, we'll just go for it. But having yeah. these where they can take it home and they're opening and closing something. Hey. And I could, say, I could have done with those this weekend for Daisy's uh, camping party that she had. Yes, perfect. So, I've just, how have I just lost my phone pads? Oh, do you know? While you're searching for your phone pads, uh, Pat's just said, yes, this should win demo of the day. Samantha Cheney says, super, super neato, Michelle. I love how you made the handles. A lot of love has gone into this project. Very, I love very clever. Making things like this. I'm really glad everyone's loving it too. It's the first crafty suitcase I think I've ever seen made. <laughs> I've seen boxes and bags, but never a suitcase. No, I love making it. So the first time I made this was about five years ago for my uh, father in law for Father's Day. And, and he loved it. He, um, so we give him some lottery tickets for Father's Day. Oh, that's a great idea. In this little gift bag. And he kept his lottery tickets in it for years. Perfect. So that is my gift bag. So I know I've put it on upside down, but um, <laughs> that is how it opens. But it doesn't matter. That is um, the suitcase with that faux emboss with that um, builder scene. Absolutely brilliant. And again, just a... Uh a fantastic way for you to be able to uh, use this collection in perhaps a way that you wouldn't have thought of using it. Uh, this, oh no, it's there. This here is the deal for you on the Bethlehem collection if you want to go for it. 113.85 or 144.20. Uh, if you're platinum, look at the price just there. 91 pounds and 8p or 115 dollars 36, and you're going to get double points as well uh listen we're going to have a uh, quick break right now uh, when we come back we will have a look hang on a minute we'll have a look at this goodie bag right here 
bigger than me, it's so big. Uh, <laughs> and we've also got some more amazing things to show you. But you head to the checkouts, and we'll be back in just a few moments' time here at Crafters TV. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafters kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick Buy, get yours now. Quick Buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Welcome back. Uh, we've 45 minutes left. We, we're having the best time today. Are you guys enjoying the shows? Hopefully you are. It's the first day of our, um, our Club Inspire Christmas event. Very, very, really, really super quickly, um, the goodie bags. I did say that I would show you these. Um, the contents of the bag will contain uh, items like we've got here. The pens, for example, uh, are in there. You will get a paper pad um, in your bag should you win. We've got an assortment of dies in here too. All you've got to do if you want to be in with a chance of winning these uh, goodie bags is just comment on the show. So get commenting. If you've commented already, comment again. Someone will be chosen at random in the next 45 minutes. They'll go on to uh, Mine and Joe's nice list and you'll be uh, winning that bag and you'll be a step closer to winning a £500, $500 shopping spree. Let's talk about the um, Cyrus Signature Country Lane collection. I'm going to go through this fairly quickly because I, I'm aware that we want to get onto another demo and this is a big, big collection. So I'll go through it fairly swiftly. If you want to see more of a detailed look through, uh, we looked at it on Wake Up Call this morning, but it's one of the biggest Cyrus Signature collections. Honestly, it's huge. 31 dies, 53 stamps, card paper, vellum, lace, ribbon and more. You're saving over £50 on this today, uh, $66, platinum price right here for you, $124.64, $158.32, that's your free shipping if you're in the US, and look, double points as well, again, you know, 250 points pretty much if you're shopping here in the UK and you're platinum, um, oh, what is that, that's over 300 points, isn't it? Uh, if you're shopping in the US as well. Really, really great way to pick up uh, and move you up the levels of Club Inspire and also you'll get your free gift. But what's in the bundle? Right, super speedy look. You're gonna get your gorgeous country lane 12 by 12 paper pad, 36 double-sided sheets. It's all about the uh, beautiful florals in here and kind of florals through all sorts of different uh, seasons. You've got gorgeous um, reverse on these as well. So really, really plenty of craftability. 
and plenty uh, of opportunity to uh, mat and layer with these as well. We've um, really made it nice and simple for you to be able to do that. That one is there for you. Alongside that, you're going to get the uh, 36 sheets in your 6x6. Six six. It, it mirrors the um, 12x12. 12 12. You've just got it in a... Um, in a smaller size. On top of that, you're going to get 400 stamens because you're going to be making flowers with your flower forming foam, 16 sheets of your flower forming foam. You're going to get 20 sheets of your um, luxury cardstock in here as well. Uh, five colours, four sheets of each, uh, and is that gorgeous linen feel to it. You're going to get 24 sheets of vellum in here too. Again, all matching up beautifully with the papers that you've got in this set. You've got your seam binding ribbon, one metre each of those three colours, and you'll also receive uh, your elegant lace, two metres of that gorgeous lace. Those are your consumables. It's the quickest I've ever done this. Cool, blimey, Ben. Then we go on to all of your hardware. So you've got your perennials in pots. So a really lovely set here, uh, which is going to allow you to create those gorgeous um, flowers, stamps and dyes right there. Then you've got your perfect peony. Uh, these, of course, have been made to work beautifully with your flower forming foam, but as we discussed earlier, you can use these with your papers, you can use these with your vellum, with your tissue, should you wish. You've got your swaddled butterflies in there too. You've also got your uh, dusk till dawn beautiful uh, lanterns in stamp and die form. And if you love those, you'll love that, which is light up the lane, that gorgeous uh, old fashioned uh, country lane light. You've got your country lace border die, uh, really, really beautifully detailed uh, die. <laughs> You've got your uh, jazz hand aliens. If you go that way, thank you, Lillian. We'll never forget that. Uh, you've got your gateway to the country, which is that gorgeous uh, cut and embossed die. So again, uh, the gate opens up for you. You can uh, emboss it up in all of your different colours. Pop a little seam behind that. Job done. Beautiful card. Talking of beautiful cards, there is your Grand Oak uh, 3D embossing folder. You've got such great detail in the leaves of your uh, oak tree there. Uh, and lovely detail around the outside once again add a bit of color add a sentiment add some embellishments you've got a beautiful card uh, very very quickly hanging vines that one again is a stamp and die set beautiful way for you to be able to personalize your project add whatever stamps that you want onto that sign this one here is called the garden gateway uh, again if you like to be able to kind of create a, um, a look uh, you know, behind a, uh, a door, for example, you can do it here. Uh, simply pop whichever image you want. I mean, we've given you this beautiful stamp to go behind the door there. But if you've got another stamp which could, you know, fit in that archway, you can create that very, very easily indeed. We've then got your idyllic meadow. Uh, this is all of those different animals <laughs> uh, in uh, different perspectives. So, for, you know, whether you're going kind of foreground, midground, or background, big cow, small cow, cardboard box. So big cow, small, medium cow, small cow. Oh, we're getting a very close in zoom there, aren't we? There's the cow. There's the, the tiny cow. Uh, and then there's the gate. There's the sheep. <laughs> medium sheep. Oh, there he is. Big sheep, small sheep. Big chicken. I'm not doing it all. Medium chicken, duck. But anyway, you, you get the gist with that. Then you've got your cottage window. I just said I was going to do this quickly. The cottage window uh, is, again, beautiful for the fact that you've got stamps and dies. You've got the um, window um, shutters. Thank you. Uh, but if you... you it's all the name yeah. yeah. <laughs> window <laughs> shutters. <laughs> to be fair, Jamie did say shutters. Uh, but then if you turn those on their sides, they can be your little window boxes to put your flowers in, and you will get flowers in stamp and die form with that set. You'll also get this beautiful uh, lace frame, super useful with this collection, but of course, you know, frames are always super, super useful right across your craft. And then you've got your Live, Love, Grow, which is all of your beautiful sentiments in a lovely script. Um, things like the, um, the sentiments will say, things like, thinking of you, miss you so much, um, relax and be happy. Does that say relax? Relax and be happy. Um, oh, yeah, that wishing one. Wishing yeah. you the happiest of birthdays. Love a lifetime with meaning is the meaning of life. I like just the enjoy the little things. Yeah. I like that one. They're cute for just sending those just because cards, really, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, you can go individually on this collection should you wish to do that. I, I realise, you know, that that is a big collection. It's a considered purchase. But if you have been waiting, today's a great day because you'll get the free gift and you'll get double points, which, as I say, even if you're platinum, you're shifting up a, a level pretty much because you've got 250 over 300 points if you're shopping in the US. It is a must-have. Are we going to have a look at a little demo with this now? Yes. Super. Yeah, definitely. So I've got um, lots of bits out, and I think it's 20 past, so you don't necessarily want to see me stamping and die cutting all of these out but I will show you so we've got this beautiful um, light up the lane so if I just bring in where have I put them here we go look so I've just die cut two of these out in some lovely um, gold mirror card so that is my two uh, country lane light up the lane dies and then again, so I've brought these in. So this is uh, the dusk till, dusk till dawn. If I take these out to show you, so you can see, if I can just grab that out. You've got those, um, you've got your three dies and you've got your three stamps. So if I just bring in the ones that I've already stamped in and coloured, you can see, maybe not on the die because it's the opposite way around. So you can see that I've got um, that one stamped out and I've got another one somewhere. Um, and again, so I've just, I've used my tri blends to colour all these in. So that is that. So I've, these are perfect, again, so for building up um, your little scenes. They're um, just absolutely perfect. For yeah. That. So again, so you've got your dies, um, and obviously, I love this. I love how you've got quite a big die there, and it's got all those ditzy flowers in, saving you having to die cut all those out, sort of, individually. Um, so again, so I'll bring you in what I've done. So I've cut, cut it out, coloured it in, and I've put a little bit of glitter on the bottom because I thought it's um, a bit more Christmassy, so we'll do it. Um, so it's obviously launch of Christmas today. So I've, I've just spruced it up a little bit. Mm. So those are my, um, my windows and my shutter. Let me just pop that back in. I just like, if I do it this way, show you all the bits and bobs, then put it together, um, I should be able to get another demo in after this. Ooh, so okay. um, this one, perennials in pots, and again, again, you've got all those dies there, and you've got your stamps, and I love these ones. So I've stamped out and coloured in a couple of these. So this is like my jade green blend. That's my earth brown blend from my tri blend, and again, I've just highlighted it with just a little bit of glitter, almost just making it again Christmassy, isn't it? And then I've done the same with that one. So I've die cut that one out and coloured it in again in the earth brown uh, and that jade green. And again, I've just got one of the little pots, so I think it's that one. Oh, there. yeah. So that is those. Beautiful. Because there's no way that I'm going to be able to stamp and die cut no. and colour all these in. But I thought I'd show you everything that I've got together. And then I've just got relax and be happy. So those are my few bits that I'm going to make, um, build this uh, scene up together with. So I am making, so this is going to be a six... A six by six card. Um, it's a fold, uh, a fold, fold back gate fold, but not that it folds all the way in. I just wanted it to sort of be more of a scene rather than yeah. fold all the way in, because I want my um, my window and the shutter in the middle. So oh, okay. I don't want it to close all the way. I want it to stand so you can see all um, all that's going on with yeah. it. So again. Um, so I've just matte and laid some of the textured card stock with that beautiful paper. And again, just popped some, uh, so that my quickie glue pen and then some glitter on there. Can I just say, just whilst we are watching Michelle stick, the Bethlehem extended collection, we are a, what does Leanne say? A, a Nat's eyelash. eyelash. We're a Nat's eyelash away <laughs> from it going limited stock. Um, so that should ring alarm bells in your ear, just like Nicholas doing in mine. <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. I was going to go more for the aluga, aluga, aluga. Warning, warning. Almost limited stock. Almost limited stock. <laughs> aluga, aluga. So um, yes, and it's the paper pads that's going to sell out that bundle. We are, yeah, we haven't got a lot left. If everyone who's watching the show right now decides to buy one more paper pad, they're all gone. And people will miss out, by the way. Ooh. Just if you're thinking, oh, okay. No, we've got nowhere near enough. So if everyone decides right now they're going to buy a paper pad, it will go. 
and uh, loads of you will be missing out on it. So it gives you an idea as to how many we have left. Not many. Uh, Claire just says, Aloha, Ben and Michelle from the big island of Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh. Uh, Aloha. Uh, I'm loving the demos, but you've convinced me to get the Bethlehem collection today. Claire, make sure you get oh, it sooner rather yes. than later because it, it's going to disappear. In the words of Arnold, do it now. <laughs> It does make me chuckle when you do, Arnie. Uh, Jerry Johnson on Facebook has just put uh, a message saying, go, 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 check out your carts. Yes. Don't want to miss out on, on, on these collections. Well, the Bethlehem collection. Don't miss out on the paper pads. Uh, Tansy Pansy says, I love all the demonstrators. I love that all the demonstrators. Wow. I love that all the demonstrators have their own particular style. I learned so much and so many different ways of using the products. And that's the great thing about our little channel here, isn't it? We've got so many of you guys, uber talented, yeah. all with your different take on stuff. And I know because you watch the other guys as much as the other guys will tune in when you're on and you all learn from each other and get inspired by each other as well, don't you? Oh, definitely. The thing is, everybody views um, a collection or a die in a different way. So we all have uh, those unique ideas of what to do with them. Yeah. So. Um, and, and I always, and I, I will say it every time, even the guys watching, so all, um, all the people who are posting their, their makes on our pages, we do all look at those because the, we do message each other and say, oh, that was an amazing card so-and-so posted on. Mm. Um, I know I've had many conversations and then you get people who are inspired by what we've just done yeah. and they will either tag us in the post Definitely, if you ever post anything that's been inspired by, by me, tag me, because I absolutely love to see your version, your take on something that I've done. And it must be so great for you as well to see that somebody's loved what you've done so much to actually then replicate it. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Because then it, it, it as awful as this is going to sound awful, it gives you that great sense of satisfaction, but but from sort of a teaching point of view, yeah. that actually what I've done has, um, you know, I've passed on a little bit of craziness and knowledge. <laughs> you know? And you <laughs> see, when you're watching Michelle and you're copying her demos, you know that your finished project that you make won't be pants. Absolutely, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have said that better myself. <laughs> 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 that should be your new uh, your new tagline follow me and your crafting won't be pants <laughs> uh, lisa's just said i love the country lane collection lots of love for this coming through actually uh the collection is humongous says stacy and miriam says i love this collection i have used it a lot for scrapbooking it does lend itself i think yes. to that as well doesn't it it does because some of these collections um in here are huge mm. so they're absolutely perfect for popping on um your scrap scrapbooking pages definitely so let me just pop that there what, what um, i love about this is you've obviously you've got like the window in the middle with the shutters but you've almost made the card which is almost like you're opening the shutters to see the window with the shutters inside the shutters of the card which is the window oh yeah What's that you're saying, Inception? I've not seen the film Inception, no. Oh. <laughs> Chris has gone, oh, watch it, Ben. Okay. <laughs> Nicola's not seen it either, apparently. Are they, do they open shutters in that movie, do they? Oh. Oh, it's a dream within a dream within a dream. Ah, I see. That's why you were saying oh, these are shutters okay. within shutters within shutters. <laughs> Being a bit narky in there tonight, aren't they? <laughs> Everyone's getting tired, overtired. That's what's happened today. It has been an exhausting day today. Uh, a busy, exhausting, a very happy, busy, crazy, exhausting day today. Yeah, and it'll be, it'll be the same again tomorrow. Uh, two new launches for you tomorrow with those Christmas frames. We've got the uh, Craft Box 50 launching tomorrow as well. HSN day, of course, tomorrow too, craft day. What time are you in for that? Did you say, Nicola, you've not mentioned it? <laughs> oh, 5 a.m. you're coming in, eh? Okay, 5 a.m. Oh, so not too early then. No. You're going home tomorrow, oh. aren't you, Michelle? 
Sorry. You get home tomorrow. I am going home yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. And I'll probably waltz in here at about ten. <laughs> see how I feel. <laughs> probably have a little lie in till about half seven. I'll go, to the, I'll go to the gym, yeah, as always. You know. <laughs> the pool is broken at my gym. <laughs> Correct. Did you break that pool? No, I didn't break the pool. I, I worry a little bit because on the doors it said there's a technical issue and I know what that normally <laughs> means when it comes to a swimming pool when there's a technical issue. Oh. Code brown. Code brown. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yep. That's what I, I mean, used to tell the kids when I never used to take them for swimming lessons and we'd get there and they'd be like, beam, beam, ball. Swimming lessons tonight are cancelled due to a technical issue with the pool. And I remember Daisy first saying, like, what does that mean, technical issue? I was like, it's a, co it's a code brown, Daisy. That's all, all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, by the way, Rachel's just gone, thank you, Ben, with a, a spewy face. Apologies. Uh, Gwen says, Ben, let's wake everyone with a riddle. Who's game? We're game. Gwen, We're our game. resident riddler, send through the riddle. Uh, we'll do that before the end of the show. I'm loving this card, by the way. I'm loving the way that you're adding um, all the different elements to, to create that sort of perspective. And of course, it's got to have bells. Of course. So I've Christmased it, Christmased it up. I've <laughs> made it Christmas it <laughs> up, honest. Do you know, if Oliver watches, I'm sure he's so proud. <laughs> um, so I think that's it. I've I'm just checking that I've got no more bits that I'm missing. So I've got my lovely um, scene built there. My lovely, it's just adding that glitter, adding yeah. a few bells. That's gone from um, the country lane, just giving someone a birthday card to actually making it nice and Christmassy. And that could be um, a Christmas card for sure. I absolutely love that uh, that really is a top notch card with bells on isn't it um <laughs> rachel's just said ben i've bought another paper pad you've honestly you've got to go swiftly if you want to get the bethlehem um full collection uh because it's flying details on the screen of your country lane uh 124.64 platinum on that one uh, 153 dollars but the, the country lane, you've got more time to jump in and buy. This is the one that you've got to worry about if you haven't yet got it. The Bethlehem Extra Card Collection. So it basically works out that you get the standard collection plus an extra 12 by 12 paper pad and an extra one of our luxury um, card packs as well. The deal on this basically means that you get the extra 12 by 12 pad uh, for half price. However, we are um, so close to this going limited stock, which means there'll be less, well, there'll be 10% and less of the stock remaining. Uh, with the amount of people who are telling me they're still buying more paper pads, I worry that if you haven't yet got this, you are going to miss out. Uh, no word of a lie, if everyone now decides they're gonna buy one extra paper pad, this bundle will go and people will miss out. And I'm not talking like two or three people, uh, I'm talking, well, hundreds of people. We haven't got a lot left of this at all. Do you want me to quickly show you the full bundle again? Okay. Um, £91 is the platinum price on this. 91.8p uh, or $115.36. Um, double points as well, don't forget. Someone mentioned earlier on, I think it might have been Miriam. No, it wasn't Miriam. Who was it? Uh, someone was saying that um, with all of the deals that we did on um, our last event for um, Club Inspire with the double points, they got from like new member to uh, platinum within like a few months. It's so easy to do. When you think with this collection, if you, if you join today, for example, £144, that's 288 points straight away. But look at the um, paper pad. This is the one that you're going to get two of within this bundle. Um, it is stunning. It is beautiful foiled stars. Um, it's gorgeous um, text on here as well. Peace on earth. Um, um, joy to the world. It's all on there. You've got beautiful foiling almost like with those uh, lights coming down there and the stars. You've got um, the angels on here as well, Angel Gabriel, all double-sided, of course. And as we said, you've got the ability to use this with your other Christmas collections and outside of Christmas as well. Yes, you've got your Bethlehem, uh, you know, specific scenes here, plenty of snippability uh, there for you. But then you've got, you know, your more kind of um, sort of standard Christmas papers in here too. That's gorgeous with the gold foiling there. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Look at that as well with the, um, the foiling that you've got on there, sort of like a midnight blue effect that you've got with the, um, the nativity scene. 
You've got more of that gold foiling in the stars here. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to rattle through this a little bit quicker because I know we want to get in another demo. 24 sheets you're getting there, double-sided twice over in the extra card kit. And you're also going to get two lots of your uh, luxury mixed card stock uh, within this set as well. Uh, six sheets and you're going to get, sorry, you're going to get four sheets, six of each, in that gorgeous blue. You've got double-sided uh, pearlized cardstock. You've got that beautiful gold in there too, that single-sided. You've got your double-sided uh, turquoise in there, and you've got our gorgeous glitter card in that champagne glitter. Stunning. Now, uh, you're also going to get in this set all of the following. So, uh, your bearing gifts die. This one is that gorgeous stained glass window effect that you can achieve whether you paper piece, uh, maybe you're going to pop onto some acetate and colour in. Beautiful. You've got your joy to the world, comfort and joy, uh, joy of Christmas's family, and may the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy. Such a lovely die. Big size die that you've got there as well uh, with the stamps to create your sentiment. Follow the star is that amazing cut and embossed folder where you uh, just add a bit of um, colour. I think this would look rather nice with some of your gilding waxes on as well. Uh, but you've got the cut in of the gorgeous star there and the little teeny weeny stars <laughs> around the outside there as well. That one's called Follow the Star. I'll give you all of the names of these because you might decide that you want to create your own smaller bundle. Uh, if you spend over £45 or $55, uh, you will get an extra 10% off. This one's called Oh Little Town. Again, look at that. The star in here is my fave <laughs> because you've got the way that the light emanates off the star itself, lights up that whole Bethlehem scene. <laughs> you've then got the joyous <laughs> sentiments. This brings you sentiments like season's greetings, wishing you a joyous Christmas, all is calm, all is bright, oh holy night and happy Christmas. Then you've got the wondrous sentiments, peace on earth, let heaven and nature sing, joy to the world and away in our manger, enjoy the wonder of the season and silent night. Talking of silent night, you've got that in gorgeous dye form as well. You've got the beautiful blessed bauble, which has the nativity scene within. The celestial angel, which is a beautiful five by seven creator card die. OMG, one of my favorite, actually I'll say it, my favorite part of this particular collection. I think it's the most stunning angel die I think you will wish to find. And then lastly in this set is the beautiful little town of Bethlehem. How still we see the light, um, which is the uh, all the dice in here basically to create the town of Bethlehem, and then you've got the um, the manger there and all of the characters to create your beautiful Christmas scene. It is not a shed or a tent. <laughs> You're saving £38, £48, platinum price is £91.8, p. $115.36, go, go, go if you've not yet got this collection, go, go, go if you've got this collection and you need to add more paper pads, we are going to be running out of these, you're going to get double points on everything, you'll get your free gift of course as well, so please, please, please do not miss out, order now, we're going to squeeze in one final demo here, oh, question team, are we doing the demo of the show before we do this, I think we should just remembered so we'll should we get the vote going on the demo of the show and then we'll do this final demo yes. so michelle do you want to remind us as to what you've made during what during the show please i do so number one was with those um grande edibles and i used the daisy one um and the joy from the um merry and bright yeah that's number one number two is my um I've I changed my handles, so my suitcase, so my handles are now on the right way. But yeah, so that's my, yeah, but the rest of it's upside down, which is why. So this is my special Australian oh, I like bear it. suitcase. Um, so that's number two. <laughs> and number three is the um, country lane. One, two or three, we'll give you five minutes to get voting on that. Uh, then we'll get the demo of the day vote going and we'll also announce towards the end of the show who has won uh, the prize in this show for commenting and got themselves onto Ben and Joe's nice list. Before all of that, final demo of the show, what are you going to use for the Bethlehem collection? So I'm going to use Oh Little Town. So oh, this beautiful 3D embossing folder. Now, 
I absolutely wasn't going to use oh, this. Oh, you, you're changing it for me? Yeah, I've changed it for Thank you. Thank you. So, um, it is, you're right, it is too beautiful to not have used. So we'll have a, um, we'll have a play with this. So it's a nice 5x7 size, and it's a 3D embossing folder, so your sandwich is going to be a little bit different to what it normally is. And now I always get this wrong. So that is the front, isn't it? Oh, do you know, I never thought to follow the picture on here. Um, What's that? No. Sorry, I'm, I, I was just reading some comments. So that... Well, because with it being... Well, there's downside and upsides on both. But actually, if you look at the picture on the front, it tells you... So if I'm looking at my embossing folder, my palm tree needs oh, to yeah, be the on bottom. there. So if I flip mm. it over, it's, it's on not. the wrong side. Yeah. So I'm definitely the right way. Good figuring out. Yeah, well, I've, I've been using them all these years, and that's the first time I've thought to do it. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to put that in there. Um, and it's my 3D embossing folder, so I'm not going to be using the um, two outside plates. No. I'm going to use my bottom plate, and I'm going to use my magnetic and my plastic shim. A suitcase was number two, Natty, by the way, on the vote. I'm going to pop that through. Sylvia um, Cage, sorry, Sylvia Cage said, I've made my first purchase on the Jubilee weekend, 4th of June. I'm now 38 points away from Platinum. Wow. Wow. That's like a big wow. You can definitely do it this week with double points. Can you look at that? Can you oh see my that? goodness look me. Look at that. That is amazing. Look at the star. <laughs> Nicola's like, oh, that's nice. She'd not even put me on for you guys. Look at that. Look how that pops out. The so three, good. The 3D ness on that is amazing. 3D ness. 3D ness. <laughs> do you know what? You don't get English anywhere like you do with me. <laughs> so um, I've brought in a few ink pads. I'm not particularly sure which I'm going to use yet. So um, I've got Silent Night, Straw Bale, Ocean Blue and Oasis. So I definitely know that I want to use my Silent Night. So if you haven't got the Silent Night, then you're going to be using your Midnight. Um, and these are my water reactives. So let me just... I've loaded that up, but I want to take a little bit off. In fact, I would rather... Staggeration. <laughs> That was Michelle's other Michelleism from earlier. Michelle was basically using the dyes from this set. You know the old little uh, town of Bethlehem dyes. She, so she 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 staggered the dyes and said, "Look at the staggeration on that staggeration." <laughs> <laughs> it is a word. It it's is. What well, is a word, word now? Yeah. Uh, just whilst you're inking this up, Gwen's uh, riddle, we have to be quick on this today. She says, don't think too much about this. A man steals a $100 bill from a store's register. Then he buys $70 worth of goods at the store using that bill. But he gets $30 change. How much money did the store lose? Oh, that makes my head hurt. So he steals, a he st he steals $100 from the store, but then goes back in, he buys $70 worth of goods using that $100 bill, and he gets $30 change. How much did the store lose? There you go. Good luck with that, everybody. <sighs> Any ideas, Michelle? Uh, no. I'm too busy crafting. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. I looked up and saw your, um, your face and thought, I'm not even going to try. Well, they lost 100, didn't they, when he stole it from the store? Oh, they still lost 100 then he buys $70 worth of goods at the store using the... So they haven't really got that money back, because the seven... She did say, though, don't think about it too hard. So it's not 230 Not to overthink it. It's a... Oh, yeah, it's a hundred... Yeah, they're basically exchanging that 100 for a product, aren't they? So, yeah, so we're saying 100 yeah? We're going with 100 That's what we're saying. Team... Monday makers. <laughs> by, by the way, uh, everybody is picking their collective drawers up off the floor 
uh, with this embossing product. I'm so glad that you decided to share it, Michelle. Um, it, and, and I've done it. So I've done it on the um, Centura Pearl as well, yeah. of snow. Um, and I just think because it, it shines through, it ne doesn't necessarily pick up for you, uh, you guys there, but um, it really shines through. Does that uh, Centura Pearl, even when you've got your ink on the top. I'm, I'm sticking with 100. I'm sticking with 100 for the riddle. You guys change your minds. I'm staying steadfast on that. And I'm also mesmerised at this, my favourite embossing folder. I'm happy to go with what, whatever anyone else Go with says. the winning team. Go with me. 100. 100. Yeah. I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> so... I'm, We've got a winner for demo of the show as well, by the way. Oh. If we want to get the vote going on demo of the day. It's number two. Oh, the suitcase. Yeah, I'll come and get Okay, okay. You carry on, it's fine. Thank you. So I've brought in my gilding wax, and this one is... Um, I don't know. Which Empire one? Empire Gold. Ah. Oh. So I'm just going to... Pick up a little bit on my finger and then I'm dabbing it off because I don't want too much on there. I'd rather add more and um, than be able, you're just not going to be able to take away. So let's try and add more. Bottom of the screen, you've got your gilding wax. Buy four, you get the four golds and you get the silver for free within that bundle. Uh, 47.96 or 67.96 today um, if you want to grab that deal. Buy four, get one free. I was getting lost in her. <laughs> I'm really concentrating. They just the, um, the the emboss on this is just beautiful. Mm. I I'm, literally am getting lost in that. Um, I really am. Um, Viv says I just bought the collection. Use my discount code. The, by the way, that's another reason to get this collection quickly. If you want it, the discount code. Uh, uh, runs until the end of the day today. So if you want to get an extra 15% off, the already 25% discount on top of your club inspired discount use that discount code and you'll get this for a snip so if you're platinum 91 pounds in the uk another 15 percent off that is uh well, another 13 quid isn't it so it, it will be under under 80 uh, under 80 pounds uh, if you use that discount code if you haven't used it already which is a steal for a collection that we've talked about that you, you're going to use every year. This will never go out of fashion. The Christmas story, it will never go out of fashion. Uh, the, the only thing that you will um, run out of and, and, and not be able to use with this, of course, are your consumables. So buy as many uh, as you can afford uh, before they go, because they will disappear. Love the colours you've used here, Michelle. Wow. So pretty. Thank you. So I've, I used my, well, it's my silent night, but um, if, like I said, if you haven't got it, you're going to be using the midnight blue. And then I used the straw bale, and I think just adding it onto the Centura Pearl rather than just onto a white card, um, it just, again, it adds, um, just adds something extra to it. It really does. And then I'm just edging this. And then once I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm just so... A little bit of blue roll or tissue, just give it a good, a good wipe over, and it really makes it shine. It buffs up that um, wax that I've just put on, and it really, I think, just makes it pop. But you can see, so even through all that inking, that Centura Pearl shine, unbelievable, still pops through. Mm. So I think I'm, that's all I'm going to do to that. I don't think I need to do anything else to it. I don't want to put too much on there and then ruin it. So let me just get rid of that dirt there. Well, it's not dirt, it's um, wax. Let me just pop those up there. Just whilst you're getting ready to finish that off, should we just quickly get the vote going on the demo of the day? Yes, absolutely. Um, so here are your options. So numero uno is the beautiful box that Michelle made this morning using the, um, uh, the Celestial Angel. That is one, gorgeous. Uh, notice all of these are from the brand new Bethlehem collection. This is two. Uh, the staggeration of this card is unbelievable. <laughs> uh, using the Silent Night, using the Oh Little Town to, I mean, 
Oh, good luck picking with these. That is gorgeous too. And number three, as modelled by Bendol, is that gorgeous um, suitcase. <laughs> it's, uh, it's obviously upside down, but he's carrying it the right way. It's just a bit of a difficult bend. Let me just take this off for you a second. It's that... That's the scene which you saw, obviously. It's been a while since I've done something upside down, so I thought, you know... I like it. it. Ben likes it too. So one, two or three, uh, get voting now. You've got about... Well, you've got about five minutes, really, on that, and then we'll announce the winner of that and also announce the winner of our, um, of our goodie bag, who's going to get themselves onto the uh, nice list. So... Right. So I've, I've, buffed, I've buffed it up. So again, if you didn't see, all I've done is I've just gone over it. I've given it a good buff. And what it does with that, um, with the, all of these waxes, um, is it, if there's any excess on there, it stops it from transferring, and it just gives it that, uh, it just gives it a lovely shine. So I'm going to bring in some of the glitter card. I'm going to stick that down. Even from the back, even if I had yeah. used it the wrong way you've still got that beautiful depth and dimension there. So because obviously I'm going on to glitter card, tacky glue is absolutely your best friend when you're doing this. We've got the tacky glue, haven't we, on a, um, a deal today as well. I think yeah. that's on the... Well, if you just hit the Shop the Day page, you get two bottles of the tacky glue uh, and you get the glue applicators for free within that deal as well. Um, Jerry just says, this is the hardest choice for demo of the show, or demo of the day. Michelle has knocked it out of the park all day today. Thank she you. Has. Um, Sylvia Cage says, can you use alcohol markers on Centura Pearl or would it damage the surface? Um, no, I don't I think, think it'll damage the surface at all. I'm not sure, with the alcohol markers, so they should... They should be absolutely fine. I'm not sure how your blend would go mm. with you having that coating on there, but all I can suggest is give it a go. Um, if I'm ever using them, I'm normally just doing it on our white um, Nina card, yeah. but um, I can't see why not. I, like I said, the only thing I would question is how they would blend, but, and, and again, so you give it a go. I think that's what craft is about for the most part, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Um, and also, just to answer your question, Rebecca says, Ben, is mini Ben, Ben doll, going in the goodie bag? Just asking. He's not. He's not. He's only... He, he's not. He's staying here with his <laughs> suitcase. Uh, and Gwen, um, just wrapping up everything here, uh, the, uh, the Riddler says, for those that answered $100, you're correct. He converted the $100 cash dollar into $70 merchandise and $30 cash, so it was $100. So well done if you got that right. Thank you, Gwen, for your riddle. As always, a lot of fun. Yes. I never get them right, but always a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're fun when we get them right. When we don't get them right, you know, not, not, not so much. No. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only joking. We love it, Gwen. We love it when you, uh, you join in and, uh, and send your riddles. Although Panda Craft says, I'll just stick to my chocolate nibbles and cider. I'll leave you lot to the riddles. <laughs> yeah. Whatever floats that sounds, your boat. Uh, that sounds lush, actually. So just, I've just put a little bit of um, my gold twine just randomly round that edge. Um, and then we're just going to take this down. I'm coming over to the uh, nice list corner, don't mind me. So, I have got this sentiment that I stamped out from earlier. And again, it's from this case. So it's, May the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with, and it was the big joy. So that's the one that I didn't put on that card earlier. And obviously, I don't have the joy. So what we're going to do is, let me get a couple of foam pads, because um, it just seems a shame to waste it. So we're going to pop those on there. And... So it's matching because it's that chocolate brown that comes with this kit. We're going to pop it on an angle because I don't want to cover too much of my um, star up. So may the miracle of Christmas fill your heart. Um, but what I'm going to do is... Where are my tweezers? There they are. Because uh, it's this sort of jade green, I'm going to be able to get away with putting these green ones on. Because, you know, 
the green shades it's just going to absolutely match so fill your heart it's just going to be fill your heart turn that that way and then if i just pop one of these down in that corner to tie it all in i'll get rid of that red one so i've just got now made the miracle of christmas fill your heart so just a little bit of string poking out but um if i give that a wiggle so you can see that sheen on there yeah oh but that um that embossing folder i'm glad i actually used it it's beautiful it's so stunning isn't it yeah it is um, a really, really wonderful embossing folder from a really, really wonderful collection. Uh, if you want to get that collection, please get it now because it is going to disappear because the paper pad is going to sell it out. We've, we, we've only got a few um, chances for you left really to jump in and grab that. £91, 8p if you're platinum, $115.36 double points remember uh, if you've already bought the collection and you, if you've got the slightest inkling that you've under ordered as far as your consumables are concerned please get more we are well i'll tell you i'll tell you we're, we're one percent away from it going limited that's that that's the the, the deal we're, we're 89 percent of the stock has gone wow 89 percent so a few of more i know lots of you have got this in your baskets right now as soon as those get checked out we're into limited and that's when the mad rush will happen uh lorraine's just said this card would have been my demo of the day if it was entered absolutely gorgeous michelle thank you but what was the demo of the day i hear you cry well i oh i have to double check <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know <laughs> I, I remember I remember. Uh, <laughs> this one was number three, wasn't it? Yeah. It's not that one. I think it was the Staggeration. So Staggeration was two. Angel was one. <laughs> staggeration did it. Oh. Yeah, number yeah. two. Yeah, it's a really lovely card, that, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and I think a really great example of the kind of thing you can achieve with this collection. Isn't yeah, it? And, and, and nice and simple that it's not too much. The dyes just do all the work for you with the, this collection. So, um, but thank you very much. Well done. We'll get that up onto our Crafty Walk of Fame. Could be your uh, demo of the week at the end of the week. But before we disappear, we've got one more bit of business to take care of because we've got to add somebody else up onto our nice list. Um, already up there is Stacey Hubble, who won on Wake Up Call. Sure pack who won um, earlier on, but who has been picked at random in this hour? Well, let's get the spelling right. Juggler. The winner! <laughs> and onto our nice list, Ben and Joe's nice list, Beverly Bryant. Congratulations! Uh, Beverly, you need to message us uh, prizes at craftscompanion.com and we will get that goodie bag sent out to you. Don't forget, if you haven't won today, there's two more chances to win on our socials. You'll see those right there. And um, once again, we'll do it all over again tomorrow with more chances to win. Thank you, Michelle, for an amazing day. Uh, when yes. are you back? Um, <laughs> next. <laughs> Don't look behind. Oh, sorry. I didn't drop anything at all. Yeah. Um, next Tuesday, back next up next Tuesday. Tuesday. I will be with you for that. I think so, yeah. So I should look forward to it. Yeah. Um, I will be back here tomorrow. As you th thought today was chaotic, guess who's in the <laughs> building tomorrow with me? Debbie! <laughs> So TV Wifey's going to be here and you know whenever she's here with me, uh, it's always chaos. It'll be a lot of fun there because we've got a brand new launch of the uh, Christmas decorative uh, frames, which you guys love the look of um, on our XSM preview show. That's coming up um, on launch date and we've got launch party as well with the brand new um, uh, sub box craft kit uh, box number 50, um, which again, you guys are going to absolutely love. Thank you for joining us today. Have you had a great day? I hope you have. I hope you picked up all of the bargains that you wanted. Um, just to say a massive thank you uh, to Michelle, who, like you guys have said, has been awesome today. Thank you to Tracy, who's been uh, working very hard behind the scenes. Massive thank you to Erin as well, who's like, I mean, she worked so hard, she's left us. 
gone. <laughs> Can't take it anymore. Uh, no, we shall, we'll, miss, we'll miss producer Aaron. Uh, also, thank you to Nicola, who's been awesome today. And producer Jamie, who's been fantastic as well. Uh, half day for him, though. Slacker. Hashtag slacker. He's going to do a full day's work tomorrow uh, with, with me and George. Uh, we'll all be here with Debbie for more of our Club Inspired Christmas event. Until then, check out your baskets. Bye for now.